Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as promised, I am back with some more Etsy shares and some peachy cheap orders. Uh, this first one I'm going to show you is from uh, Shannon at Mixed Media Minnesota. Shannon puts out some really neat kits every month and sometimes I get them and sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends on um, last month's kit. I had already purchased all of the um, oh, something vignettes. Hold on a second. I still have it right here in the box because of course I haven't done anything with it. I'm trying to get it out so I can show it to you. She did a kit based on this Life's Vignettes by Jen Bishop and I had already bought a bunch of stuff for that from uh, directly from Jen so I didn't get her kit but she has a kit coming out for um, August that is um, lavender so I did go ahead and purchase that one so I'll show it to you when it comes but if you want one you need to get over there because her kits tend to go quite fast but anyway, this was stuff. She also has other things on her Etsy store, like some mixed media kits and fabrics and different things that she makes, like page ruffles and different things. So you'll want to check her out. I got these fabric strips. It's so funny, too, because when I went over there to get the kit for August, I was looking at these again, and I almost ordered them. And I had forgotten that I already purchased them. So I guess at least I really do like them. <laughs> so there's, there's two, four, five different ones on the card. And then I got this pack of liquid pearls. I decided I wanted to add to my collection of those. So that's uh, Mixed Media Minnesota. She has a YouTube channel and an Etsy store. And I will link that information below for you. Um, let's see, what else do I have down here? What is this? I think... This is a... Let me see if there's... I'm pretty sure I haven't shown this to you guys yet. This might have been, this might have been the month before kit. Let me see if there's a invoice in here. Usually she sends me one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was the kit for um, June maybe. I thought these flowers would be great because you can color them any color that you want to. But so you get these flowers. And I'll just show you, even though this kit isn't available, I'm going to show it to you just so you have an idea of how her kits are. I mean, they're always different, but similar uh, amounts and types of things. So here's some watercolor tags. Die cuts. These are Stamperia Garden of Promises. These are like the chipboard die cuts. Uh, watercolors and look metallic. Let's see. Pearlescent. Well, that's cool. Got quite a few colors there too. That's pretty nice. You get that. And you get these chipboard cutouts. And, oh, here we go. No, it doesn't have a date on it. It's just her, her little thank you for your purchase card. I'm pretty sure I had a invoice too, though. And then here's a rice paper that goes with the paper. Uh, there's a liquid pearls in yellow. Lemon chiffon it's called. And then um, the paper set is um, also Guard of Promises, of course. Let me put this other stuff back in the package. I'm losing my little fabric thing there. I'm trying to hurry. I don't know why I always feel like I gotta hurt. Well, one, I gotta get ready for work. It's 2:30 at time of filming, and I have to leave at 3:30 to 
be to work by four, so I am kind of in a time crunch. I just got to change my clothes and get a little bit of makeup on, but still. Okay, I'm going to throw this stuff in here. No, I better not because I'll think it's part of the kit. Okay, this down here. I've got to remember to add the paper to it. Well, here, let's just go like this to save time. This is what the paper looks like. You guys probably already know anyway because I'm behind on even showing this. You guys probably have already seen this paper. It's very pretty. Very vintage looking. Come on, camera. Do your job. Yeah, I'm really not happy with Logitech and their cameras. I mean, I've only had the one, but I'm really not all that thrilled with it. It came recommended by another popular YouTuber, but um, I don't know. I don't know if it's me. Sorry, I bumped something. I don't know if it's me and not knowing what I'm doing or just the camera that I got or, you know, maybe there's an upgrade and I don't know about it, but I'm not impressed with this camera at all. Okay, so that was one of the kits that Shannon does. And I think we're down to peachy cheap stuff now. No guarantee I've got everything over here that I wanted to show you, but I got enough for now. Okay, this was, I wanted to show you guys this to give you an idea. Uh, a couple times a year, peachy treat, peachy cheap, oh my gosh, has grab bags so like for i can't remember the amount but a certain amount of money uh they send you things they have left over that they have sold throughout the year and i've gotten them a couple times and for the most part they haven't been too bad if i get stuff i'm not going to use i just put it in happy mail so it's it's fine and it's not really too bad price wise so these are some wood um, embellishments from Prima. And then there are Heidi Swap tags. And these are the different things that they say. Oh, wow, it actually focused. It can do it. Who knew? Now a little stamp. little heart epoxy stickers uh, project life little frames and sayings I guess they're all right here oh I hear Arlo jumping off my daughter's bed upstairs Arlo is our pit bull mix and here's some page flags you know what? You turn them this way. You could almost use them as flower pots. Here's some Prima flowers. They're felt. Not really showing the true purple that they are. Some wood buttons. I actually got some of these in a peachy cheap order. It was a whole set of buttons. My Mind's Eye ephemera pack. Uh, journaling card and sticker set. These are kind of like, uh, sometimes they're kind of like planner stuff. Project Life. Does anybody even use Project Life cards anymore? These are kind of cool though. These are like, uh, they're silver foil. This is what they say on them. I think they're the kind that you can put over other ones. And then we have, uh, Lake Life paper pack um, by Rennie Rooney. I don't know. I always like the wood. The wood ones. They're going to call them. And then we have some My Mind's Eye sticker sets. Oh, here we go. It's nice when they put stuff on the back because then I can just show you that. And that's if I can get it to focus. 
and then I don't have to show you the whole thing. You kind of get an idea. Carlo going back upstairs. Nothing quiet about that dog. Well, it's not going to focus in very well. There we go. There we go. Comes and goes. And then we have this best day by my mind's eye. You know, some things by them I like and some things I don't. They're not always my style, but some things work. But like I said, things I don't use, I send out for Happy Mail. So that was the grab bag that I got this time. And I'm sorry, I don't remember how much they are. Um, they're not too bad. It's worth the money for what you get. Especially if it's stuff that you'll use, which I would say probably 90% of it is stuff I would use. So I got lucky this time. One time I got a lot of stuff that I probably won't use. So here was another thing that they had one time. And the way Peachy Cheap works is every day, except for I think Sunday, I get an email and I it shows what their item is for that day. And it's usually something at a discounted price. And you get like a set usually, not always. So this is Prima flowers but they're all leaves and I like them because I didn't realize they were this flat but they are there's 12 in there it doesn't look like it does it but they're flat and it's just all different kinds of sorry about the sorry about the like you're getting my camera in there but there's these ones so I thought those would be nice for different uh, seasons of journals you know And then, oh, I'm a sucker for Prima, especially their flowers. They had a pack of flowers, and these were really reasonable. I can't remember, of course, because, like I said, this is all stuff that I've gotten. You know, like in the last video, I had a Etsy share that was from March. So, um, I am behind, I will admit. Bring up these ones. I'm also getting ready to do a project with my residents. I um, am prepping the flat canvases. They're uh, 11, are they 11 by? I don't know if they're 8 by 10 or 11 by 14. But anyway, I'm doing some mixed media on them. Um, I might have one right quick I can show you. I know it's kind of off the track of what we're doing here, but um, they're not done yet. But like I'm, I think these are 8 by 10. I'm prepping them for them. And then we're going to hot glue flowers on there, like maybe in a, well, however they want to do it. I'm thinking kind of like in a L shape maybe. Or corners, you know, however they want to do it. It's gonna, they're gonna place them, and then I'll hot glue them so they don't burn themselves. But you know, the flowers are pretty on there, and so I got more. I already had some downstairs, but then I took some mica flakes and put them on with some uh, heavy gloss medium. But like I put um, with uh, texture paste and stencils, I did the background, and I put some different paints on them then I stamped on them and I put the mica flakes on them and glitter and uh, I got them between uh, tracing paper because I did them at work and I had to let them dry but like there's another one and I wanted to bring them home there's another one so they're like all a little bit different but anyway um, that's one of the projects I'm going to do with them but having them do the the whole process would be too much and too long. So I am doing that part for them and then I'll have them glue the, the flowers on. So it's so it was helpful to get uh, these from PT Cheap. And again I like white because I can use my spray inks and or yeah, spray inks and make them whatever color I want. There's quite a few. 
in this side. That's looking brown, but it's actually green. This one right here, it's actually a green, but it looks kind of brown. That's weird. Huh. Anyway, and then there's these little ones. And then there were these butterflies. And then these little ones. Also from Peachy Cheap. I really need to get on here and be showing, you know, the projects I'm doing because I had started making videos showing what kinds of activities you can do with residents with dementia. Um, and again, the, the time thing, it just really, um, I love my job, but it is tiring. And so when I get home, the last thing I feel like doing is filming or, you know, getting on camera or whatever. Plus, I still have, you know, things to do at home. And I haven't been uh, taking care of my mom as much. I mean, I, I still take care of her, don't get me wrong. I take her to her, her appointments and stuff. But since I started working, you know, my brother's kind of had to step up and do his part. And he has taken her um, shopping. Or not taken her, but he has gotten her groceries and brought them to her and stuff like that. I'm just going to show you real quick. This is some of the kinds of, this, I did this, but this is some of the kinds of things I've been doing. I take the Amazon, or not Amazon, any kind of packaging paper, you know, they wad it all up and stuff it in your boxes. Well, then I smooth it out and uh, fold it and then cut it into pieces. And, you know, we glue napkins on it or, you know, we can glue scrapbook paper on it, make collages. I did a texture collage, one of the projects that I have pre-made um, for other people to use if they want to is a texture collage and there's like a layer of um, one type of paper and then there's other papers you can layer over top like tissue paper and um, tracing paper and deli paper and just all that kinds of stuff where you can see the other paper through it but it adds another element and gives it texture it's all about sensory with um with our dementia residents because they need that sensory input to stimulate their brains so anyway that's kind of off on a side note but um i don't oh did i show that paper um i didn't mean to show that if i did i'll have to look at it um but anyway i just figured i would show that to you while i was here since i don't get on here that much I'm just looking through stuff I got stacked here by my desk to make sure I got everything I wanted to show you guys. And I think I did. So it's been nice seeing you guys. I hope you enjoy these videos. Um, I can't make any promises, but I do hope to get back on with some uh, crafting videos. Um, I can show you real quick. If you bear with me. I had planned to do this, but since I don't know when I'll be on again, I'll show you. Um, this is the outside cover of the sensory journal I'm making for one of the buildings. I'm doing it for both. There's two buildings that are memory care, and I'm doing it for two of them, but I've only been working on it for the one. And I used the Amazon... Uh, envelope. I'm going to put fabric on the inside here and I've got some of the papers um, that they helped me pick out which ones and then like I've included some work that they've done like the one activity we did we stenciled on paper with paint and so I put their names on the paper so we know who did what and so then they'll be a part of the journal. Here's another one we did it on um, this uh, ledger paper and again that was the stencils and paint same thing here so I'm trying to incorporate this is a painting on this textured paper that one of the residents did and the camera is not liking it but we used metallic paint I did this one so ignore that one I was painting with her so I went ahead and included it in there there's another one of the paint and stencils on some of um Amy from uh, Darkwood Sanctuary.
And then here's some braille paper that one of the residents painted on. I'm going to make that into a, um, I think it's going to be a flip out that way. So it's kind of just on the page right there. And since it's a, a awkward size, I've got the scrapbook paper folded different kinds of ways just to, but I want to make it very interactive, very tactile, um, a lot of textures, a lot of colors. I'm going to add fabric in here too. Like I'm going to put some more Sophia's fabric in there. The outside one is from Dust Fairies. Here's some more of the stenciling. And I have more stuff to put in here too. This is going to flip out a little bit. I think this was Brooks dye paper. Um, gosh, I haven't watched Brooks channel in so long. I haven't watched any channels except for Gail. What's the name of her channel? Gosh, I can't even think of it. Sorry, Brooke. But anyway, Brooke dyed that paper, I do believe. That's her Kool-Aid dyed paper. There's the other side of the little painting I did. And there's the other side of hers. The resident I did this with was so cute. She's like, I would like you to paint a picture for me. Not like I'm that great of an artist, you guys, but I told her I would do it. So this is just some of the papers. I mean, obviously there's a lot more work to be done before this journal is anywhere near finished. But just kind of to give you an idea of what I'm doing uh, for the residents and uh, incorporating. And this isn't sewed in yet either, so it's just folded over. But anyway, this will be a nice interactive um, sensory journal for them to have that um, I'm going to take care of the edges too. But anyway, I'll show it to you as I get more done. And they're going to help me decorate the pages. Like I've got um, stuff in here that they've done. Like I was telling you about the napkins, like tag. And then I put the resident's name and the year. So that'll go in a pocket somewhere. Um, actually, one of our guys did this bag. He's He has a really hard time seeing and I kind of helped him, but I asked him what his favorite color was, and it's blue. And so I showed him the bag, and I showed him the napkins, and he did pick out the napkin, and I put it on for him. But sometimes that's what I do with the activities, is I might have to do it, but I get them involved as much as I can. This is just a paper with a napkin on it. There's another one. But these are just things that they have decorated that are going to go in the journal. This is a collage that I did. I think I'm going to make some tags out of this. But um, just some of the stuff the residents have made. Here's some more. Um, coffee filter. These are just some things we did the next day. I actually did this bag just because I came across that napkin. I thought it looked good on that tea stain bag. And here's a doily. I might have done that one. I do things with them, so sometimes, you know, it's my work that's in there too, but um, it's all part of, you know, sitting together, having conversation, interacting with the products and the, um, the materials. So um, it's all beneficial for them. I think I got some more in here. Let's see. Oh yeah, we made some um, fabric clusters one day. And so I've got those that I'll put throughout the journal, maybe make some hidden paper clips or, you know, page decorations. But these are all ones that um, me and the residents made. So, obviously, we did a few of them that day. Um, here's a little bag and a guest check, a time card. I think I might have done that one. Sometimes it's just me making things and the residents picking what they want. I made that into like a little pocket. It's a little sack. That one can be decorated yet. And I think that's it. So it just kind of gives you an idea of what I'm working on 
with the residents whenever I can. Um, it doesn't always work out for me to do stuff each day, but we give it our best shot. So it's, it's taken a while to make this journal, but um, I think it'll be pretty cool when we get it all done. So anyway, now I'm going to go. <laughs> I kind of went down the rabbit hole with that, but I hope you all went with me and enjoyed it. So take care, everybody. Um, God bless you, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.